Hey, it's Edge here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover web analysis with the Litware theory and provide multiple scenarios a price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on for our time frame, looking at the scenarios from the lows of June. Since then, again, we have had quite a few different high, high time frame uh, possibilities, but again, uh, Let's go through them. One of them was that we had a wave Y coming down into these lows of June and then looking for an X wave and then looking for wave Y coming down. So wave Y would be looking something like this as an ABC structure. Uh, that is still in play. We had also the possibility of this being an A wave, B wave, and then looking for a C wave. However, I don't think that looks best at the moment because again, these have been taking so much more time in comparison to the higher degree wave structures, which is this minor structure in comparison. So I do prefer the idea of having this as a W, X, Y, X, Z. Then we had this one in which again, we ended a count down here of an ABC. Then we would have this as an A, B and C into an A wave then looking for W, X and Y. We don't want this to go below the 14.9 something K area, because again, um, that is one of the extension targets um, that we shouldn't cross with the W, X, Y counts. Also we have there is the retracement of this A wave right at the same spot around the 14.95 K, give, give or take a few tens. But yeah, that's that. Uh, here, we are still expecting the way Y to be complete and in here it is going to depend completely on how high this B wave is going to go. So the expectation here is that we are creating some kind of three wave structure for that B and then we can start to look and measure things down here for that possibility if this is still in play or not. Then we had the impulse wave structure where we had a five wave structure coming from the all time highs into this as a third wave, um, fourth wave and then looking for this as a wave one. Two. Then we had two different scenarios where this either is a three and as this has already overlapped this possible start of wave four has already overlapped with the wave one here. The only option we have here is a diagonal or this is a new wave one, two here. So instead of being three, four, we would have this as another one, two, and then downwards we go. Again, both of them are still possible. The reason why, again, I did not prefer this uh, is just because of the extension targets on wave three. But that's that. Uh, let's check out the more local structures here and go through them. Starting here on one hour time frame and uh, with the WXY count. Uh, again, I've mentioned this before where we had this as a three way structure into W, three ways back into X wave here. Uh, and then we would be looking for this wave Y. The issue with this one I have is that the extension target of 1.618, which is again the target we don't want to be hitting with the WXY count, is right uh, al already before the wave W's end. So that is something that I don't really like. Uh, generally, we would want to see the uh, WXY count end before, end before the, uh, this is actually wrong here. This should be the, there we go. Let's actually check this out again. And I think I have had it completely wrong. Yep, I did. Okay, there we go. Now it makes more sense. This is that one. So <laughs> what I was talking about is this ABC is the uh, is stopping before the uh, end of W here. So again, uh, wave Y, in my opinion, has the best look if it does take out the origin of wave uh, of wave X here, so the end of wave W. So we get some kind of nicer looking structure like this, unlike something like that, right? So that's that. That's the reason why I don't really prefer this. But again, we still need to be looking into this as an option. Uh, we have quite a few triangles here already. We'll see how this, this local structure here forms. Uh, we'll look into that in just a moment as well. Then yesterday we were talking about this mess here where we had this as an A wave, B wave, and then looking for C wave. Uh, five waves in wave one, we did not have divergence between these two peaks here. And then we would have this as a wave two. Again, wave, this triangle is not in a wave two, it's in the wave B of wave two, which is again, completely different thing where we had this as an A, B, C, D, E, and then we would have C wave down here. Again, on a smaller time frame, if we need to be looking into those, we would have to label this as one, two, three, four, and five into that C wave. Again, not the best, best looking structure at all. Um, 
but again that is something that we have to be just dealing with at the moment um, the structures from the from these lows should be impulsive um, this somewhat looks impulsive on 15 minute time frame however uh, it does not really fit into the idea on smaller time frame this much better looks as a three-way structure in my opinion and then another three-way structure here um, into these lows um, creating again this uh, structure here on on rsi as well taking new lows in comparison to these here so uh, this definitely has the has the potential of being just a three-way structure something like this as we have not even actually this is what is this let's actually measure that again just hitting the one-to-one -one extension target basically nothing else we can't really call it too impulsive we have already established that this structure here is larger than this which makes it less likely that this is a one two one two setup again because the next structure over here which should be smaller degree than the previous one um, is actually larger than the higher degree wave structure here so that gives us some some potential of having this as another three-way structure like so and doesn't look half bad either with this in mind again we could be seeing another triangle in here um, but yeah that's that let's go back up the higher time frame a bit and check out the last counts that we have um, just due to the how, how extended this structure here in the middle is uh, I wanted to go ahead and show the other counts that we were talking about before I which I did not plot down here into the charts, uh, well, which again was about the extension of potential wave B here. Um, I got two variations of this same thing where we are still expecting wave B to be taking lower price before we would be looking for that C wave. And in this one, again, we would have this as an ABC into W, ABC into an X, and then again, wave Y downwards in three waves. Uh, the issue again with this one is the expectation here that we had as mentioned um, is not really a five-way looking structure so it definitely has the potential of of being still part of uh, of this structure coming downwards as well um, we'll look into that later as well the uh, next structure here is this one where we would have again same pivot for a w and x would be here x would be instead a running flat here where this again would be formed as in the five-way structure where we would have this as an a b and then c that would give us the wave x again x is kind of quite a bit larger than the way w here 2.6 to three times larger so again that doesn't have the perfect look but again none of this does so <laughs> we have to be adjusting our uh, expectations just use the uh time proportions here and noting that none of these structures are really perfect now since the a was put in place we would be having this as an a b and c coming down into the lows of w wave and then we would have w x y into an x wave again if these were the tops that we had we are very close to the one-to-one -one extension here that i mentioned and then we would be looking for downwards as in the form of wave y and higher time frame wave y which is again this wave y here so w x and y um 0.618 extension target for this w x y on blue is the target or the minimum target also the basically the maximum target that we would have for the white w x y would be right around the 1.618 extension which is again uh, having the same confluence there um, so at the moment I do kind of expect this price to come down um, and that is basically that there's nothing really else here to say uh, nothing really works here on smaller time frame except this structure being a three-way structure sorry this structure this WXY that I showed you um, is the only one that works for me at the moment um, otherwise if we want to have this C where we just have to have this as one two one two setups uh, which is again for this count, uh, for this count, for this count. So all of these other ones are saying that okay, we should be heading up higher. However, I don't like the look here on smaller time frame, and therefore, um, again, um, again, this could definitely be done here with the WXY. 
But I think that is going to do it for Bitcoin update for today. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you next video. Bye bye.